What's going on gamers? Today we'll be going over how to install Hunger Games onto your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Playing mini games is just one of the great ways to enjoy Minecraft. Many Minecraft players have played on popular servers such as Hypixel and experienced a variety of minigames. As minigames is one of the highest demanding game types for servers, we've now added a new minigame, Hunger Games, to our one-click installer. Hunger Games is known as one of the most enjoyable games within Minecraft. This minigame became quite popular upon the release of the first Hunger Games movie, and this specific minigame mixes two very important features, free-for-all and adventure. The arenas can be small or large maps with construction, allowing players to rely on their own strategy and skills with the goal of winning the games. With our services, you can install Hunger Games with a few clicks and we'll be walking through how to do just that. To install the Hunger Games file, first you'll head to the, your Apex server control panel. First, you'll need to stop your server, so go ahead and click on the red stop button there. And once that's done, You'll scroll down to the jar file field and use the search bar to search up Hunger Games. And what will come up is the latest version with the pre-made in parentheses. Select it and on the first pop-up you will see load Hunger Games. You can go ahead and click change version. Then it'll ask if you want to load included world and you will select use included world. From there you can go ahead and click the restart now button and once that's all said and done the server will restart and you'll be good to go. Once your server's been reset, you can load up the latest version of Minecraft and go ahead and join your server from Apex to start playing Hunger Games. Once that's loaded up, you'll see the main lobby area, which will be provided for you, and it'll show some basic information about the plugins that the server utilizes and how they operate as well as a list of current maps installed and a brief description of each. After that, it's all automated and should be good to go. All the maps will start once four players have joined, and after the game starts, there will be a five second grace period during which you can't hurt other players. Once there are three players left, lightning will start to strike and indicate where they are on the map. You can enable the deathmatch feature if you want in the Hunger Games plugin config file area, and at the end, this will transport the players toward the center of the map. However, this is disabled by default. After this is all done, you'll be ready to get in, play, and survive. Now let's go over some of the maps that you'll be in. The first one is called Chernobyl, and this is a map based in the dangerous area known for the reactor meltdown that has led to many catastrophes in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. The next map that we'll be looking at is called Breeze. This is an arena based on an island thematic map in which players can find themselves on a large main island connected to multiple sub-islands. Ships can also be found in the area. The final map is called City, a map based on an abandoned city, and old tales say that there was once a civilization in this city. As you can see, there are many broken down buildings, roadways, and many other hidden things. Now let's go over some of the plugins that we'll be seeing. So in your files, you can check on the plugins box. And the first one that we're looking at is obviously Hunger Games. This is what will provide the chests and items and said chests around the map. Unlike the other Hunger Games plugins, this one does not require you to set up a whole server for the game. You can easily set it up and multiple arenas will be anywhere in the world. The next one that we'll be looking at is Essentials. Essentials gives us the basic bare necessities for running the server. The next one that we'll be checking out is Multiverse Core. This one allows multiple worlds to be connected in one physical server. Pretty cool. The next one that we'll be checking out is Holographic Displays. Holographic Displays provides the holograms that you see around the server. For example, those floating text boxes that you can see. The next one that we'll be checking out is Permissions X. This one handles the permissions of each plugin. From here, we'll go down to the next one, and that is Protocol Lib. It's used to modify Minecraft directly in tandem with the Hunger Games to allow the plugin to work. 
Protocol lib is necessary to perform tasks that can be impossible to do with the standard bucket API. The next one is Title Manager. Title Manager is a useful plugin for such things as configuring a pop-up or welcome menu upon players joining your server, or making your tab list show more information regarding your server. From here we have Vault. This stores data and allows plugins to hook into one another and work as a conglomerate. Second to last, we will have World Edit, which is simply enough a world building tool. And last but certainly not least, we have World Guard. This one simply controls the protection of the spawn area. If you're looking for something to enhance your Minecraft experience, give Hunger Games a shot. This minigame is the perfect way to spend a lot of fun time with friends, since most of the games last more than 20 minutes most of the time. You can create a unique adventure within each game. Hunger Games can be added to your server easily with our one-click installer, and as every pre-made setup we have, there is little to no configuration to have to worry about. However, don't forget that your server will only be able to support one pre-made minigame type at a time. If you want to have multiple different game types on your server, you'll have to check out our other guide on setting up a bungee cord network. And folks, that'll do it for this video. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.